Now that's the isomerization. When ethylene oxide is heated to about 400 degree centigrade temperature or to 150 to 300 degree centigrade temperature in presence of a catalyst alumina or S3PO4, it isomerizes into acetaldehyde. The reaction is CS2CS2O in presence of 200 degree centigrade temperature in presence of an alumina Al2O3, it gives CS3CHO. The reaction mechanism was proposed by Sidney W. Benson to explain this reaction in the gaseous phase. It comprises the following stages. The conversion to acetaldehyde with an intermediate compound. The reaction is CS2CS2O. It gives the CS2CS2O an intermediate compound as an intermediate compound, which further gives CS3CHO. This CS3CHO further gives the methylene group CS3 plus CHO group. The, and further, the CS3CHO plus M, M refers to the, the wall of the reaction to give corresponding acetaldehyde. In reaction 3, M refers to the wall of the reaction vessel or to the heterogeneous catalyst. The moiety CS3CHO radical present, represents a short lived lifetime of around 10 to, to, ra 10 to raise, uh, sorry, 10 to raise to power 8.5 seconds. Now the next reduction reaction. Ethylene oxide can be hydrogenated into the ethanol in presence of a catalyst such as Nickel, platinum, palladium, borines, lithium aluminum hydride, and some other hydrides. The reaction is CS2, CH2O plus H2 at 80 degree centigrade temperature in presence of nickel. It gives C2H5OH. Conversely, with some other catalyst, ethylene oxide may be reduced by hydrogen to ethylene with a yield up to 70%. The reduction catalysts include mixture of the zinc dust and acetic acid of lithium aluminum hydride with titanium trichloride. The, redu the reducing agent is actually titanium trichloride formed by the, re formed by the reaction between lithium aluminum hydride and titanium chloride and of iron 3 oxide, sorry iron 3 chloride ferric chloride with butyl lithium in tetrahydrofurane that is THF. The reaction is CH2CH2O plus H2 in presence of zinc plus CH3COH. It gives CH2 dull bond CH2 plus water. Oxidation. Ethylene oxide can further be oxidized depending on the condition to glycolic acid or carbon dioxide. The reaction is CH2, CH2O plus O2 in presence of AgNO3, silver nitrate. It gives HO, CH2, COOH. Deep gaseous phase reactor oxidation of ethylene oxide at 800 to 1000 Kelvin and the pressure of 0.1 to 1 millipascal gives a complex mixture of products containing oxygen, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, ethene, ethyne, and ethene, propane, propene, and acetaldehyde. Demonization. In the presence of acid catalyst, ethylene oxide can be demonized into dioxane. The reaction mechanism is as follows. The demonization reaction is not selective and there are always byproducts such as acetaldehyde due to isomerization. The selectivity and speed of dimerization can be increased by adding a catalyst such as platinum, palladium and platinum or iodine with 
sulfolan or iodine with sulfolan. However, 2-methyl-1,3-dioxane is formed as a side product in the last year.